Hey, friends all over the world. They muted my video earlier. They literally muted my video earlier, and I'm going to tell you why. They muted my video. Can you believe that? They actually muted my video. But I'm going to tell you something. This message that I'm sharing with you, it cannot be stopped. You see, the powers that be want you to be in fear. That's a part of the plan. See, it, it, it doesn't really work unless you're afraid. Okay? So, so anytime there's a message of hope, uh, a message of faith, that message is a threat to the agenda. You see, why, why is it stopped? Why is it muted? Why do they want to mute this? Okay. I'm telling you why this has got to hear this because there is an answer. There is a solution. You see, see as believers, we have to understand that we have an effect on what happens in this world, in this society, in this situation, in these scenarios, we have an impact. Jesus said in Luke ten nineteen, behold, I give you power. That's the word authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. You see, I said this to a group of brothers last night. The reality is, is that the church was not prepared for all that has been happening. But this has been a dress rehearsal so that we would actually become the church. We're supposed to, we're, we are the beacon of, of hope. We are the lighthouse. Jesus said, we are the light of the world. So if the, if the, if the lighthouse is closed, here's my question. If the lighthouse is closed, where will the ships lost at sea find their way? How will they find their way? If, if you close the lighthouse, right? If you shut down the lighthouse, those ships lost at sea, how will they find their way? And here is the reality. And this is why these messages are, such, are un, under such attack. Because the demons and the demonic powers and the and the structures in high places don't want you to hear the fact that the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, sickness will not reign in my mortal body. And you got to tell yourself that every single day you walk out of your house. Every single day you get dressed. Don't, don't, don't. Leave the house naked. And I'm, I'm not talking about with physical clothes. Some of you, you dress up physically, but you, you're naked spiritually. Don't leave the house naked. Some of you are covered. You put a covering over your mouth physically, but, but watch this, but you don't put a spiritual covering over your life. And this is what you have to understand. The devil is afraid of you. He's afraid of your mouth. He's afraid of the authority that you carry. And the fact that when you say something, things happen. When you speak something, things shift. Do you understand that? That's why the message is cut off, but this is an unstoppable message. Unstoppable message. My, my prayer is that millions will be healed of the disease called fear, anxiety, worry, despair, and any other disease. Because greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. Say that over yourself right now. Confess that over yourself. Declare that over yourself. Speak it over your life, over your family, over your children. I'm healed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I walk in divine health. I'm protected. I'm covered. I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Declare it. Open your mouth 
and speak it. And do me a favor and share this with everybody you know so that the power of God will be seen and will be evident to all. In Jesus' name, God bless you, friends.